All right, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome back to Dungeon Souls. Uh, if you can hear crickets in the background, unfortunately, that's the cruel reality of my situation right now. Uh, apparently, my commentary has uh, put the entire uh, local area to sleep, and as such, we will. Uh, I mean, you can you can hear them from miles away. It is ridiculous and bad, and my ego is taking a massive hit. I'm complete bullshit right now. Anyway, so, how's everybody doing? Probably, well, I mean, I guess I can't really ask that. This is this is one of my few non-YouTube recordings I've done in a very long time. Uh, I guess I do a couple of them. I should probably do more, especially now that I've got some free time again. Yeah! Uh, let's see if I wake up on time. God, I'm... I usually need about, like, five hours of sleep, but recently it's been, like, nine, and it's weird, and I don't like it. It's probably because I switch back and forth between waking up at like 10 a.m. and, well, not. Anyway, so we're going to be playing Warrior and probably going to get our ass kicked somewhere early in, just because this has to be a short episode, obviously. I almost never have time outside of my recorded, uh, my general recording sessions, and I figured this would be... Wow, my defense is good for, what, rank, rank 1 character? Damn. Warriors are pretty pro. Uh, we're going to have to put points into... Um, into potions, otherwise we're just gonna get our shit kicked in. I'd like to put points into damage, but I yeah, we'll see. D defense is going to be my stat point, and we oh uh, shoot, I need to go shopping. Here's the question: Do we go with? We're gonna go with just medicinal herbs. We're gonna have trouble otherwise. Okay, well, um, let's grab this. Medicinal herbs is going to keep our HP totals up higher. The the beaker is tempting, but not that tempting, and the boxing glove is actually counterproductive. I think. Hard to tell on that one. Anyway, so we're not going to be doing any prime time slime time. We're not going to be doing any uh, farming of any kind, in fact. Ooh, Berserker's Ring. All right. I know what I'm beelining for. Speaking of, apparently we just got some beer. All right. But anyway, um, I don't know. I've been enjoying this game. I'm really looking forward to the next patch. Every time, every time the developer kind of reaches this nice little middle ground, usually the next patch means it's going to be something really cool. Um, no idea what it's going to be, but... That's just how kind of I feel about the game. Like, what, whatever, whatever comes next is next is going to be interesting. I'm I'm really hoping they actually come up with like more character classes. Almost just because wow, there really there's only one. I guess I should have gone shopping earlier. All right, well let's grab that berserker's ring before everything goes uh sideways and shitwards. Oh god, that was about the worst placed uh, boulder trap. I've seen this entire game. It got me good. Anyway, uh, let's grab stuff. At least we can destroy projectiles. So, actually, we, must get, we got a damage up. We got the Sword of Regen. Yes. Unfortunately, that means this prolongs this run maybe a little bit longer than I'm going to be able to do. We'll see. I'm, I'm just, I'm just, this is, this is going to be the speediest run of Dungeon Souls I can possibly do. No farming, no faffing about. We'll just get there. That guy is stuck inside the wall. Well, that's going to be his fate. Oh, he actually just has a direct melee attack. I never realized that. That's neat. I guess I might as well just hold it down. I, I usually just fire semi-intentionally here. But yeah, if we've got the Sword of Regen and the Medicinal Herb, we've got a base health regen of three? Alright, I'm not gonna lie. I think I just got another Sword of Regen, which is kind of annoying. I'm not gonna lie, I understand nothing about how this game handles uh, loot equipment, or especially regen, because it always feels like it's just comboed, really. No, we got a Sword of Energy! Alright, and a Warrior's Book, so our stats are looking nice! Yeah, but nope, no prime time slime time. So, I've been thinking about this game, and I'm probably what I'm probably gonna do is just devote a lot of my time to, um, ranking up all the characters. Like, I know a lot of people really like the Nightblade, because he's such a goddamn badass. And a lot of people really like the archer, the thief, the whatever, for you know all of their their own individualized you know qualities. Let's see, cannonball, ten percent. Now I'm gonna I'm just gonna go with the shooty eye, just a little bit of extra, a uh, little bit of extra firepower, even if it's really not that much. I don't know if it scales off of uh, weapon damage at this point. I don't I don't know if they've confirmed that one way or another. Also. Uh, I should probably mention this, seeing as, seeing as, you know, I'm, I'm listening to the music and generally kind of forget the, uh, proper attribute, uh, attribution here, but I, I was gonna say the, the music we're currently listening to is from, uh, Chipsel. Uh, he did the soundtrack for Interstellaria, which I need to go back and finish that series now that I actually have some time this week. Um, but, uh, so he did the soundtrack for that and his music is great. 
Oh, you know what? Let's let's move the face cam a little bit here. I don't know if I'm still under attack. The game went dark when I do this, so we'll see. Anyway, um, but yeah. So if you like, uh, if you like, you know, Chiptunesy music, go check him out. He's cool. Uh, he's he also, you know, pretty much has open license to YouTubers as long as we buy the music, uh, which is kind of really really nice. So let's see. That's only a 15% damage boost. Okay, at this point, I think I'm gonna put all of my trade points straight into um. All my trade points straight into healing potions because a fifteen percent damage boost is nice, but I get that I get I already get that from like weapons. It's not going to be that major unless I can get up to hundred damage, but I'm not foreseeing that here. Anyway, um, I guess we do have a lot of regen regen already, so we might end up being like really hard to kill. Combine you know comboing our massive health pool, our just general armor. And ability to block projectiles. I don't know, we'll see. We'll probably just get smoked by a dragon along the way here. Have we found a have we found a chest yet? I have no idea. Anyway, um but yeah, so shout out to Chipsold because I'm probably gonna forget it in the description. I really need to I really need to work on that. Eh, maybe maybe I will I will remember. Usually I'd, I like add it two weeks later and it's just like whoops. Uh but we'll see. Either that or I could go with the stuff that's like already been just granted to me. I don't know. Whatever. We'll figure that out. M music attribution is a pain painful painful thing. Anyway. Totally understandable, though. I mean, the, the musician did grant the use of their works, so I can't just claim it. And who knows, maybe at some point this game will get a uh, better soundtrack. I have no idea. I've probably insulted somebody by saying this, uh, and I feel kind of bad about it, but I'm also just going to call it the way I, th I see it. And anyway, let's let's continue on. So we've got a couple of silver keys. Hey, we got a brain. Oh, we got the bow. All right, so now we've got now we've got pretty much everything we need to wreck things. I guess the one thing we don't have is the Assassin's Blade. Which would be really, really useful. Oh well. Uh, maybe some lifesteal, I don't know. I guess I'm just gonna do uh, circles hitting things. Because at this point I'm not taking a whole lot of damage. My, my armor is really high. Especially for a character of my level and rank. Oh, uh, oh the desire to prime time slime time is real. It is uncomfortably... Oh. Never mind, the uh, Redeemer has already awoken. The feck? Is there... There was only... There was only one... Alright. There was only, uh... There was only one summoning circle this entire level. That's a little bit insulting. I'm glad... I guess this has become the, uh... The dump level. Or the... the Not the dump run, the fat... The extra fast run. Oh, what do we get? We just got the uh, Crucifier. Alright, anything else interesting here? The answer is no. Uh, that said, I am ridiculously strong, uh, given my current situation. So I'm actually, I'm pretty down to clown with, uh, what I've got going on here. Because we, we heal a lot, and our damage is pretty good, too. Like, we've already got him, uh, over half, and I haven't even used that move. I guess it doesn't really do as much damage as I'd like, like it to, but still. But yeah, so we're, we're not going to be taking a whole lot of hits here. And I dig that. Like, I actually, I, I really enjoy the warrior class. I, I think he's probably the going to be one of the harder ones to master just because he doesn't have like any bullshit invulnerability moves was that a sort of ice it was wow we've got every single sword i actually okay so I, i'm gonna be like straight up and honest about this i actually really wish the the sword the character was swinging would change to the most recent sword dropped by an enemy just because i think that would be kind of a neat uh a neat gesture and i mean the sprites are already there why not Okay, so let's let's go with another golden chest. Hopefully, it gives us something good. Either it gave us multiple things. It gave us a boxing glove and a compass. Oh shoot, we didn't have a silver key there. We get accuracy, which, as far as I can tell, completely worthless on a warrior. Yeah, I can't I can't think of anything remotely useful uh, to do with uh, warrior plus accuracy. Who knows? Maybe there's actually a reason. I've yet to figure that one out. I know I know it's useful for. Um, for like archers and thieves, though I will actually admit, uh, now that I've like gotten more entrenched into this game and kind of like understand the foibles, I actually prefer to have a um, a character that's slightly inaccurate, just because the spread shot means I can kind of do flyby hits, and it's a little bit harder to do that um, against, you know, it, it's a lot harder to hit moving enemies with a very steady stream. Uh, a little bit of scatter shot makes it really easy to just kind of burst fire something on the run. Uh, it's also just easier to just like ran, uh, run into a room and just like shoot everything at once as opposed to picking your targets one at a time. I don't know. Uh, I'll experiment with it. I also just am lazy and 
for whatever reason, don't don't respect the accuracy stat that much. I really should, but uh, bad, bad habits die hard. And you know what? I'm not Bruce Willis, but uh, and I would actually die pretty fast. I'm not a I'm not a um, I'm not a durable person, as far as I can tell. I mean, maybe maybe I've not really I've not really considered how many how many um, punches it takes to get to the uh, center of a water pop. Um, but that's 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 not the kind of thing I want to get into. So we're not we're not gonna we're not going to be uh, myth busting my durability here. Please don't don't show up to a convention and try and punch me just to find out that that is how you get that's how you get kicked out of this that that's how you not can't go to PAX anymore. Just putting that out there. Anyway, let's move on. That was a weird tangent to get on. I am rambly today, and I don't mind. I've I've been doing nothing but group commentary the past couple days, so expect some amount of verbal diarrhea. Uh. Over the course of, you know, this session, tonight's session, later when I'm actually streaming, that kind of thing, because I just realized the Eddies have, uh, the, um, oh, Yukon. Whatever, whatever the, uh, whatever the, the dentist from the claymated, uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer video. They have, like, Yukon's mustache, which is kind of great, actually. I don't know if that's intentional or if it's just, like, a miscellaneous thing, but it totally looks like a uh, looks like his mustache. I'm okay. I'm okay with that. Anyway, uh, what do we get? More healing. Can you say yes, please? All right. What are we up to? Four four forty three. Yeah, we're gonna be healing fast, and I am fat and sassy about that sort of thing. Uh, I guess. Yeah, sort of. I don't know. That that's not even like actually a phrase. That's not actually like a euphemism. A phrase. A colloquialism, colloquialism. It's a, it's a, it's a dumb reference turned into one. That is, that is how bad my 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 phrasing, my like, my ability to use co common, slightly folksy sayings in terrible ways has turned into. At this point, it's just turned into just internet jargon under the under the guise of something more interesting. Like I said, verbal diarrhea. Okay, God, the slowing effect is brutal in this level. It's just like, oh, you want to go get somewhere fast? Good luck, chump! Alright, and we do not do enough damage. I would I would put more points into damage, but I'm fairly certain we're going to get a damage boost soonish. I don't know. I'm just making the assumption here. It usually feels like this game has way more random damage boost than it has other things. We've got a lot of, like, really solid, um... Like, really solid other bonuses, like, you know, lifesteal, boxing gloves, sort of ice, crit, blocking. Like, it's all good. It's all good. Let's see how this goes. Uh, that's gonna hurt if, if nothing else is. Like, getting close to these guys is going to suck. You know what? I'm just, I'm just gonna swing until we get there. And then we'll potion. And then we can use our abilities. Apparently I already did. Whoops! All right, but yeah, we. Oh right, if we got the if we got the brain, we're actually almost completely invincible as long as I don't stand directly next to him, or inside that AOE ability. Uh, he can't get to me because I, I swing too fast. Okay, that is actually something that I'm really looking forward to in this game. This game really, really needs like attack speed boost, just because I would love to see, say, this character with a really fast attack speed that doesn't require him being less than half health. Uh, chances that wait, he's not dead yet. It's the Yeti showed up. Okay. So the, we have we have entered the the land of very interesting potential. I'm okay with this. So what did we just get? We just got the Assassin's Blade. So critical hits, reset, cooldown, and Devil Hood, Devil's Hoof. So we've got pretty much a 10% chance to do everything except for like poison and something else. I don't know. But anyway, so effectively. I can AoE non-stop. Unfortunately, that might not be good enough. Eh, whatever. Not a big deal. But it, it is kind of an interesting, um, interesting ability. I'm probably still going to die here just because. Yeah, it might actually just be better to be swinging here, unfortunately. Like, this guy doesn't have any buffs. This guy doesn't have any, like, cool super moves. Let's just switch to Mega Swords. Because I think I'm still swinging when I'm Mega Sorting. Interestingly enough, I don't know if Mega Swords. Yeah. Okay. So, so I'm gonna switch to Mega Swords as a supplementary attack. 
because I can still I can still swing my uh, I can still swing my sword while using it. Okay, I think it does crit. We might die in this room. Yep, okay, it does crit, so we can just repeatedly uh, use the sword as like a projectile attack on top of everything else. Cool! Okay, I'm digging that. Hello. Where, where is the summoner in all of this? I have no idea. Oh well. But man, can you imagine primetime slime timing with this this setup? Or just farming with it. We, we're flimsy-ish. But this does give us kind of an unprecedented level of like group clearing. That I don't think any other character has in this game. Uh, actually, no. I I could see an archer being. Yeah, actually, the archer with the um, the archer with spread shot right now, with the assassin's blade and the, just the setup that I've got, you would you would just always be shooting in an arc, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. Nice thing about this, I can shoot through walls and stuff, so I don't actually have to get into the dangerous situations. So that is actually like a massive. Bonus. Anyway, let's go with the Potion of Risk. That's so... I don't know why, but it loves me today. But yeah. Okay. So th this gives us a lot of... A lot of, um... AoE. Ranged AoE. That we wouldn't normally have. Nice. Alright. Unfortunately, it's a little bit predicated on getting a critical hit, but seeing as my critical hit chance is 65%, I'm not terribly worried about that. It doesn't do a whole lot of damage. I might level it up and we just got a coin purse, which is kind of worthless to us. Oh, well. Anyway. Completely wasted that shot. Well. <sighs> so it'll be interesting fighting this Soul Keeper. Probably gonna get my ass kicked. Just because his uh, close range damage is really high. But you never know. You never know. Yeah, un unfortunately, you know, 65% still means there's a fair chance of me losing my, um, my sword shot. There we go. But yeah, I, I can still be swinging, so I get a lot of my base defense ability here. And I can still attack while using it. Okay, so far so good. I'm digging this run. It, it's a it's a, it's a a unique run, but then again, all of the characters play so differently. Like, you'd think the Barbarian and the Warrior would have similar play styles. Nope. Not in the slightest. Yeah, okay. So so next time next time we play this, I am um, this character. I'm just going straight into uh, Mega Swords and only Mega Swords. Because I, I could see, like, putting enough points into Mega Swords, combo that with an Assassin's Blade, uh, nothing nothing's going to be able to harm, uh, harm you. Then again, that would be predicated on an Assassin's Blade and stuff like that, but still, could be a lot of fun. Uh, especially a pull-off. I would kill kill for this game to have, like, a, a command mode. Actually, I wouldn't. I, I hate, like, I use that phrase, but every time I do, I, like, internally think to myself, man, that's just a really shitty phrase, like... I would kill for X. And it's like, no, you, no, you wouldn't. Or you, hopefully you wouldn't. Jeez, like, I would kill kill for, like, a nice pair of Reeboks right now. Like, are you some kind of monster? You are. Stay away from me and potentially my children if I have any. I don't? All right, well, stay away, stay away from my, my non-existent children. Anyway, did I just get fish meat? I did just get fish meat. Ooh, what's this? Bloodstone, 30% max health. Damn, the blues in this game are awesome. All right, let's get in here for a second. Let's... Grab that shoe. We're getting the fuck out. I wanted to go for the uh, the more basic speed bonus shoe, but that is that is how death would is, was going to accrue. Okay, let's just grab a couple of things here. I think I just got a barbarian book. Okay, well you've got your swords, I got mine. Ow. Actually, it's not so bad. Well, we'll see how this goes. It's probably going to be a complete mess, but who really knows? I I might actually have a fair shot at this one, which I am okay with. But yeah, I can just I can just fire the swords left and right. It's interesting that the uh, the warriors, uh, the warriors' abilities mimic the soul soul guardians that much more than anybody else's. You know the 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 sword shot. I could I guess the uh, the purple light orbs aren't exactly uh, copied in any other sh shape and form, but still no biggie. Okay, so we're we're having a fairly good fight against this guy, but then again I feel like it's a maybe a little bit unfair just considering. How much health regen I have? Can you imagine how, how brutal it would be if uh, enemy like bosses in this game had items? I don't know how many ranks have we gotten. Just one rank. That is pretty sad, actually. Well, we'll see. This is probably going to be a complete slaughter fest once we get into. Um, oh yeah, the goddamn eyeball things are gonna ruin my face. 
Oh, that's a that's a key to buy. All right. Unfortunately, these dragons are just going to ruin me. Okay. What do we get? Shop stuff. I guess the trick is just to circle strafe around dragons. But um, I'm terrified of this specific eventuality. Whoop! And we crash the game apparently. Well, that's one way to lose a run. Okay, fatal error in action number one of step object sword slash for object enemy. Unable to find any instance for the object index. Uh, 102,474 name undefined at GMO object enemy collision. You know what? I probably can actually, um... Here, can I do window capture properties? Dungeon Souls code error. Let's see if I can pop that up on the screen. There we go. So I'm just going to keep this here just for a second, just in case the developer sees it. Okay, that should be enough for him to pause, get the error message. Done. Okay, so, uh, seeing as we're here, and you guys can still see something, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Dungeon Souls. And as always, thanks for watching.